Hey, this is Nate Keevan and welcome to the Keyword Optimization Session. Thank you for joining us. What I want to show you today is how do you get optimized for your profile? How do you get found by your specific target market? How do you make sure that when people are searching you out that you're the one getting found over your competition, other opportunities, other employer uh, employee types, whatever it may be for you, whatever your end business goal is. So the, the, the main objective in this particular session is to help you to be found when somebody is looking for a specific keyword. A keyword is something, a term that someone's going to use, your target market is going to use to identify uh, a search. They're going to use a term like business, for example, what you see here on the top of the page. They might use a term like social media, they might use a term like consultant, or they might use something like business analyst or longer words uh, like executive strategy director or global management. Uh, something or another, I, whatever it may be, three, four words uh, in the profile. The longer it is, the more challenging it is for somebody to be found, or the easier it is to find the specific person that that market, per, that market might be looking for. So what we want to make sure that you do is that you have a nice blend between long tail keywords and short, short keywords for your LinkedIn profile so that you're found appropriately. I'm going to show you exactly how it is that I personally rank over two, 25 million or above 25 million other LinkedIn users for my particular keywords. So for example, what we're looking at on the screen here is the keyword business. You'll see that right here. And you'll see that I have the sort by box is dropped down in keywords, not relevance, relationship, relationship plus recommendations or connections, but actually keywords. And you'll see here that I have a view of expanded. Most people's view is gonna come up under basic. Um, you want to make sure that it shows up under expanded and that's going to give you the ability to figure out what you need to do to rank your keyword uh, so that you can show up over your competitive marketplace. You'll see here there's 8.6 8 million results that come up for this keyword and you'll just notice that some of our clients that we have been working with all take uh, ownership of this top space. You'll see here we have John Asaraf, a client of ours, Tom Searcy, an advisor and client of ours, Lisa Pai is my business partner at Deming Hill and uh, Randy Zales is a client of ours as well. So of the top spaces here, we have one, two, three, four, five of the five of the top 10 out of this particular keyword owned. So what you have the opportunity to do is understand how this process works. I'm gonna get into uh, one more thing here. I'm gonna show you why this is so important. You'll see down here on this page, I'll scroll up a little bit. We'll see who's viewed my profile. Now this is on the home page of your LinkedIn profile and just underneath the advertisement on the right, you'll see this, everybody will see the same thing. And you can only see it for your own, you cannot see it for other people. You'll see here I have 13,000 connections, new people in my network since July 2nd is 47,000 people. Now, we'll see here that 19 people have viewed my profile in the past day, and 218 people have uh, pulled me up in search results for my various keywords over the past day as well. Now, this is the 4th of July weekend, so this is gonna be a little bit lower than normal but uh, this numbers for the daily views is going to typically range between 20 to 40 somewhere in that range and as high as 150 at times and of any particular day my search results will range anywhere from 180 to upwards of 300 on a typical day and we pretty much see it right around 218 to 230 just about every day so these are some of the things that are happening now this is simply a result of the keywords because we haven't done any specific drives for our for for people viewing my profile in uh, several weeks so what you're seeing is the very organic process of LinkedIn by doing this process appropriately now doing it right can lead to great contract opportunities new job opportunities better and more often and more frequent interview opportunities for you uh, lots of different results come from this from various case studies that we have from clients uh, over the past year and a half that we've been working with people um, what I want to show you now is the process for ranking yourself and we're going to use one of our clients Ruby Newell Legner as an example and we're going to type in the term fan experience one of the keywords that she really needs to rank for and you'll see there's only 396 results so it's not that challenging for her to rank number one but what we're going to do is show you how you would go in to a search and identify how many keywords you need to rank number one now if you go here and click on the second person under keywords so we make sure that we're sorting by keywords we make sure that we have an expanded view and we are going to then type in the keyword and I put in quotations if it's more than one word put it in quotations so we make sure that we're getting the right one and we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to the second person here now the second person Aaron Souter is going to pull up 
and we you're gonna see that we have this shows less because I already clicked on it and this shows more I'm gonna click on that what I want to do is make sure that both the current and past categories have expanded ver uh, expanded views and we'll see here that fan experience shows up on her profile twice under current and it shows up under past once this is the number of keywords that we actually have for in her profile that we need to exceed so that we, we can can become number one all right so this tells us that I need to have fan experience in my current positions more than twice so I need to have it three times and I need to have it in my past positions more than once and then I can guarantee that I'll be number one in this particular search result you'll see that Ruby has plenty more than that she actually mirrors the first one but she has more in the past so she's gonna show up number one for this particular search result if we take out experience and we just do fan we're gonna come up with a completely different number in fact what we're gonna see here is that uh, we don't rank number one for this because fan is in quotes I think <laughs> we'll do that one more time see I have not tested fan as a number and we'll see that oh it's because there's there's a lot of people in China with the name fan so <laughs> that's a bad example so what we'll do is we'll use uh, social media we'll use mine okay so social media we will use the keyword you see 324,000 results come up. This is a heavily sought after keyword naturally. You'll see that media comes up, social media comes up, it's different keywords. All my buddies are in this as well. Uh, and you'll see a handful of people that show up. But when we click on the more category, we're gonna see a good slew of keywords that are gonna drop down here. And the, the ability to rank over this is gonna be relatively challenging. Um, one of the other terms, so, so social media might not be a great keyword for you, but you might want to do social media marketing, for example, which I don't believe I rank for. Maybe I do, I don't know. Um, you'll see different people come up for that one. You'll see other terms like uh, social business come up. Those terms will come up with different results. Okay, so I do come up number one for that, and so does my partner, Lisa. So that's out of four, 462,000 people. So these are different terms that people are gonna use. Now, when you're going through this process, basically all you need to know is how many you need to rank for and then where do you put them. When you click on a profile, let's say for example, we use the term uh, consulting. Okay, and we have consulting shows up. Consulting is going to pull up various people, and if we go into this David David Hansen's profile with the 2.1 million results that come up, we're going to see a, a slew of consulting highlighted consulting terms. Now, as those come up, we can count them on the profile because they shows us where they rank. Now, you'll see on the on the headline it comes up here, consulting psychologist. All right, and we'll scroll down, and we'll see throughout his profile. You'll, you'll notice, by the way, that it doesn't show up in the summary section. It's not showing up in specialties because he actually doesn't use that term here. But it will show up in experience and you'll see all the different places he has consulting psychologists showing up with different clients. See? And so that's going to be why he's going to rank at that level. There, there's a lot of them. And so ranking over him is going to be a challenge. So I'm not a big fan of using the big, the big words like consulting, for example, as, as one word keyword uh, optimization opportunities. What I prefer to see everybody do is use longer tail keywords, long words, a combination of words. So you put them in quotation marks and say, for example, you're looking for a um, compliance director and We'll just, I, it's not really long tail, I'll just see what comes up here, so 2700. Well that's a pretty specific term somebody might look for, so you might want to use the keyword that's going to rank for that specifically. Um, you might want to just pick a series of words together, two or three words, and make sure that you're ranking for those uh, to get um, ranking. So I'll do one more business analyst, sorry if that's a little loud on the typing, I'm recording from the computer we'll see um, 419 show up here and you'll see the different terms that people are using and you'll see uh, th these are going to be relatively competitive because it's a uh, it's a competitive space but you could do uh, three words you're going to be able to rank for quite easily um, 
and, and just you'll just have to figure out what words are applicable for your market, what they're looking for. Once you do that, you'll be able to put them in and literally within minutes of you completing this process, you'll be able to go ahead and rank for that keyword. So I want to see your results. I'd love to get your comments and feedback, whether it's in our group, on the Link Strategies group, or in the, uh, on our blog, wherever it may be, by email. We love testimonials. Show me, tell me, let us know how it's impacting your business, what it's doing for you, how you're getting found, how many search results are, your search results are increasing by. Uh, take snapshots of it before and after if you want. Whatever is applicable for you and let us know because this is really powerful stuff guys this will get you found by your market especially for those of you that are employees looking for new business um, you know professionals ex you know executives that are doing this to be found for your particular industry or niche use this information make sure that it gets in your profile and uh, in the process you have to know one thing that no matter what the number of words are that you use if somebody has more recommendations than you it will be virtually impossible for you to rank over the top of them so do work on getting more recommendations to your profile as well as that will help you sustain top rankings on LinkedIn. With that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I hope this was really valuable for you guys. Um, pay attention for future things that are coming out and we'll continue sharing with you. I really look forward to getting some feedback and hearing how this helps your business and your professional endeavors. All the best. Take care. God bless. Have a great day.